For years, whenever I had to improvise, this is what I did. <sighs> Sounds familiar, right? And that's because I am using the minor pentatonic scale in its first position, AKA the box. The thing with the box is that it sounds great, but once you tasted it, it's very hard to escape. But I did. And this is the story of how I escaped the box. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I discovered the box, I felt freedom. I'll never forget. I was about 15 years old, it was the mid 90s, and my older cousin Julian showed me that box. See, Julian was in a band. He had been playing for much longer than I had, and he showed me my first few chords, my first few riffs, and eventually, the box. That box, or scale, was just so addicting. I could play anything with it. I mean, I was able to figure out within that simple position so many songs. I could play riffs, I could play solos, I could even write my own songs using that simple pattern. I was truly hooked. It had made me feel like an accomplished guitar player. Now, it took a long time for me to realize that it was a trap. You see, eventually I realized that all my solos started pretty much in the same way. And I kept playing the same old tired licks all the time, regardless of the song I was playing in. Now, to be fair, it worked okay for the audience. People listening would probably not realize that unless they were more accomplished guitar players, but I felt really unsatisfied inside. See, I knew deep down that I wasn't really expressing myself. I was just letting my fingers loose on a very comfortable shape that I'd been playing for years. Now, things got worse as I was using the box. I felt so unfulfilled that I almost quit guitar. I mean, things were no longer fun, no longer exciting. It was kind of like a, a chore to play my solos. It was easy, but it was very mechanical, just like a robot trying to play the blues. But I'm not a quitter. So I tried to escape that box. My first thought was, I just need to learn new positions, new scales to escape that pattern that I was stuck in. At first it was a little challenging because my fingers always wanted to revert back to the comfortable box. But eventually I was able to memorize the other positions of the minor pentatonic scale. Now one thing that really helped me doing that was to actually visualize those other positions before playing them. Having a clear mental picture of what it looks like helped me play it later on. All right, so once I was able to play the five positions of the minor pentatonic scale all over the fretboard, I had to put that into practice. So I threw in a simple backing track and then just experiment with each of these new positions over the backing track. But that is cool because it kind of gave me a sense of playing something different even though I was playing the same exact notes of the minor pentatonic scale, the fact that they were laid out differently on the fretboard encouraged me to land and bend different notes. But I quickly realized that that also was a trap. See, instead of being stuck in one box, I was now stuck in five different boxes. Help! I needed to find a way to freely go from one box to the other in a natural and musical way. My friend, it took me, it took me a while, but I eventually managed to escape those box. Pause for a second. Before I tell you how to escape the box, you really need to understand why the box is a trap. Let's take a closer look at the original box, the first position of the minor pentatonic scale. The box is made of two notes per string. Now let's group all the notes on the left and call it the left wall. In the same way, we'll group the right notes and call them the right wall. Two opposing walls. This is the easiest way to play that wall. Every single scale you encounter will have these two opposing walls. The easiest and simplest way to play any scale is to use your index and middle finger for the left wall and your ring and pinky for the right wall. And that's the trap. It's a trap because it's comfortable. And whenever things get comfortable, your fingers will stay there. Because of that, when you wanna escape one box to play in another one, you're gonna have to completely reposition your left hand to fit that comfort zone. 
And that's a problem because doing so is not very smooth and musical. Now understanding what makes a box a trap is key to escape it. Since the trap has everything to do with the fingers you're using, we just need to train our fingers to transition from one to the other. This is how it's done. Let's take a single note, third string, seventh fret. We're gonna play that note with the four fretting fingers. Pinky, ring, middle, and X. And by doing so, we are changing the wall the note is found on. Whenever we play the note with the pinky and ring finger, that note is on the right wall. Whenever we use the middle and index finger, the note is now on the left wall. Now it's a little awkward at first, but as you're going through this exercise, try to make that single note as musical and expressive as you can. All right, let's put this into practice. Here's a simple backing track. We're in A minor pentatonic. I'm gonna start improvising using that first position, the first box. And every once in a while, we're just gonna start playing with that finger swap technique. We're not changing positions here, we're just getting used to the finger swap. Okay, now that we're a little more comfortable with that, we're gonna engage our visual mind. Check this out. Here I'm doing the finger swap on the seventh fret of the third string, and bam, using the index finger means that now that note is on the left wall, the left wall of the second position, and I can continue playing in that second position. I completely change positions, escaping that first box by just swapping my fingers. The beauty of this is that it will work with any scale, not just pentatonic, and that's because we find those opposing walls in every single scale position. <sighs> All right, hang on just a second. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, yeah, I'm transitioning from box to box, but I still need to know what to do in these boxes because I still feel trapped. And that's right, you can't just go up and down within these patterns. <sighs> I wasn't gonna tell you this because it's a little weird, but <sighs> a little while back, I received a special note you know what, I'm gonna tell you about it. It's right here. Check this out if you want to know what to play in each of these boxes. This, mind blowing. I'll meet you in this video. <laughs> 